Capital City's very own game show, We Play Baton Rouge. Let's now get things started by welcoming the host of We Play Baton Rouge, Pat Shingleton. Wow. Here it is, Friday. TGIF, right? Hi, everybody. Welcome again to the game show that entertains, rewards, and informs. And what about this great Bon Marche studio audience? Give yourselves a round of applause. We've had a lot going on this week. This contestant right here, Gloria Hamilton, you have racked up a ton of prizes. Should you win this game right here, it means that you will be taking a trip with you and your guest aboard American Airlines to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and you're gonna probably wanna take me with you. <laughs> when we left, you occupied your first street, and Vicki, you're now trying to get ask your first three. You had a couple of missed questions there yesterday on Thursday. I'll tell you what, let's send you right back to the game board right now. Tell us about that living room player you're playing along with there. I have uh, Mrs. Vernell Moore from Bogalusa. Okay, yeah, if you win, then she is gonna win. And how about this let's living room player? <laughs> and her name is Tressia Jero, as we mentioned before. And once again, she isn't gonna win any of the things you want, but she has accumulated an awful lot in her prize package, which includes a series of pizzas and Jay Young's book and a whole bunch of stuff we'll be sending down to her. So when the living room player wins, so do our, I mean, when our contestant wins, how does that work, Steve? I yeah, have no when idea. the contestant wins, the living room player wins, and you just send your name and uh, phone number into us, and we take care. Let's go ahead and go back to the game board. Vic, the categories are spinning for you. Here we go, round one, we play Baton Rouge on this Friday. Okay, movies and the events and the mix bags up there, Vicky. Check them out, look them over, and tell me what you like. And I'm going to go ahead and ask you a question and see if we can grab your first street, which is Jefferson. Movies. Here's movies. Here's a question out of the movie slot. What was the name of the camp where Susan and Sharon met each other in The Parent Trap? Now, was it Camp Boba, Camp Inch, Camp Smiles, or Camp Greeny? I think it was Camp Smiles. Nah, it's Camp Inch. Camp Inch. That was the parent trap, the Walt Disney movie. So the big odds come out of the studio audience, but now nah, we look to Gloria back to the game board categories. They're spinning. Perkins is your street. Let's see what happens. Louisiana Detour Sports. We know about detour. It's the option for the contestant to take a street away from opposing contestant. Vicky doesn't have any streets, so it's Louisiana Sports. Take it, Gloria. Louisiana. Here's the Louisiana question that comes out. John James Audubon was a tutor to Eliza Perrier for four months in 1821. While there, he used his free time to roam the woods and study nature. He found specimen for many of the pictures used in his Birds of America. What plantation are we talking about here in Louisiana where he did this? Rosedown. I'm sorry, incorrect, it's Oakley, Oakley Plantation. Oh. So, Vicki, back over to you. Categories are running, here they go. Ah, Louisiana Detour Sports. Detour can take that street away. Louisiana can give you another question out of there. War Sports, you look them over. Vic, what do you think? Oh, Louisiana. Okay, Louisiana, here we go. Before the beginning of the 19th century, settlers began clearing land near the banks of Pretty Creek. Homes sprang up, a settlement was developed. Can you name the town? Was it Pineville, Clinton, Centerville, or Bogalusa? Centerville? Clinton is the correct <laughs> answer. <Okay>. Clinton is <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Just am. I'll tell you what we're going to do, Gloria. When we come back, it'll be your turn. Only one street for you. The other contestant, zero. And now we find some commercial messages we're going to take care of. But first, my main man, here's Steve Earle with an announcement. We Play Baton Rouge is taped for a live studio audience. And we'd like your group or organization to join us by calling 925-8295. We'll have more in just a moment. I'll bet your name, I'll bet your name's Lori Thomas, huh? Yeah. You live right here in Baton Rouge, huh? Yeah. What school do you go to? I have a question for you. How would you like to win two pints of yogurt, 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 yogurt from Icy Landing on this Friday morning? Here's the question. What city is home to almost half of Michelangelo's statues? Florence City. Gee whiz, you won it! Congratulations, Lori! <laughs> Now go over there and sit down, Lori. We'll have your eyes. Thanks, Lori. 
Four. It's back to the Game Boy Glory categories that are spinning for you. And here they go. Perkins is featured on Gloria. You've won four games. What's going to happen today? Places, comics, words. You look them over. What do you like? Comics. Here's comics. Ah, this question. In this Disney cartoon film, a butler deliberately loses two cats for fear they will inherit his fortune. Name this cartoon comic film. Aristocats. The Aristocats. Vicky categories running for you. You're still looking at that first street. There they go. <laughs> things and music and people's up there. Vic, look them over. Tell me what you like. Things. Here's things. Out of there comes this thing. This cereal <laughs> has the colors raspberry, red, lemon, yellow, and orange, orange. Name the cereal. Fruit Loops. Tricks. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Sorry about that, Gloria. Categories running for you. There they go. Tricks. Lemon yellow, raspberry red, orange orange. Tricks are for kids. Places, comics, and words. Gloria, what do you think? Places. Here's places. Out of the slot, the question is, in 1939, 32 students from Modesto Junior College squeezed into a tall, rectangular object during this campus craze. What was the object? Telephone booth. Right. <laughs> Leaves the street and you got two. It's back over to Vicky. There go the categories, Vic. Now on your way with two streets. Vicky looking for that first one. Jefferson. TV detour music, Vic. Tell TV. me about it. Okay, TV, here we go. <clears throat> we remember her on the good ship Lollipop. At one time, the most famous child actor in the world. She later hosted her own children's anthology series in 1958 and then went into politics. Who is she? The hint. Gee, grandfather. Shirley Temple. Gee, grandfather, that's right. What's the matter? You didn't like my Shirley Temple. That was from the movie Heidi's coming down the hill and it's like, gee, grandfather, the wind's blowing my face off. You know, stuff like that. Right, Shirley Temple. Right. Back to the game board glory categories are running. Here they go. <laughs> Things and music is people's there. Lee's the street heading to Stanford. Hey, Gloria. People. People. Okay, here we go. The question is, what famous newspaper heiress was kidnapped in 1974, later changed her name to Tanya? Patricia Hearst. Stanford's your street. Good question. Back over to Vicki. Wow, you're two streets behind. What happens if shortcut pops up? Category spin for you. Here they go. Things and music and people's there. Vic, look them over. Tell me what you like. Things. Here's things. Here's the question. J.L. Plimpton invented this device in 1863. You'll find it on the streets and on the rinks. Name this invention. Signs? Roller skate. Oh. The old roller skate. You wear those, Steve? Oh. Steve's got a pair of them on right now here in the studio. <laughs> Says the only way he gets to work. Stanford's a street you're on, Gloria. We come back, we're sending you to the game board. Business time. We'll take care of a little commercial message or two here. Come back as we move into round two on a game show that entertains, rewards, and informs. And here's Steve Earle to tell us about it. The categories roll and the action continues when we play Baton Rouge Returns right after this. Travel arrangements for We Play Baton Rouge are provided by American Airlines. American Airlines, doing what we do best. Yes, indeed. Let me reemphasize that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this week, Gloria Hamilton has won this game. Five games means that she may take the trip to Puerto Vallarta should she win. But, Vicki, you're still on. You've got one street over there, only down by two. A lot of game left. The question I ask you, J.L. Plimpton, Invented this device in 1863. You'll find it on the streets and in the rinks. Now, I guess because of my Western Pennsylvania accent, a lot of people thought I said ranks, ranks. Like, <laughs> ooh, that really ranks. It is ranks, and it was the roller skate. And then, obviously, you came over with Patricia Hurst on the next question. So it is your turn. Categories are running. Gloria, we head you back to the game board, and you're on Stanford. Let's see what happens. Here we find Louisiana Detour in Sports. Look them over. Tell me what you like. 
Louisiana. Here we go, Louisiana, this question out of the slot. 1922, the first radio station in Louisiana began broadcasting. Name one city where broadcast began. Would you read that question? Sure. Is in it in Louisiana? I don't yeah, it is Louisiana. In 1922, the first radio stations in Louisiana began broadcasting. Name one city where broadcasts began. New Orleans. Correct. Shreveport being the other city. Vicki, back to you. The categories are running, and here they go. Movies is there, Vic. Events in the mixed bag. Down by three streets. Look them over. Tell me what you like. Movies. <laughs> you like them all, don't you? <laughs> no. I was going to say there's only three up there. Listen closely. I promise I won't say rinks in this question. Name the movie in which Mia Farrow's husband makes a deal with a bunch of devil worshippers to order, in order to further his career as she bears the devil's child. Do you know what movie that was? No. You know, it was Rosemary's Baby in 1969. <laughs> Rosemary's Baby, back to the game board, Gloria. Categories are running, here they go. Places and comics and words is there, Gloria. Look them over, tell me what you like. Places. Here's places again, here's a question out of the slot. The basketball has put this school on the map. It is located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and bears a French name. Name this university. Oh, man. Marquette. That's right, Marquette is it. <laughs> hey, wait, are you keeping us in suspense or are you doing that on purpose? You knew that the whole time. Uh -huh. Marquette University, basketball's been the... Uh, been the big powerhouse for that school, yes indeed. Back over to Vic, categories are running, Vic, here we go. Places, comics, and words up there, Vicky. look them over. Let's try comics. All right, comics it is. Listen, to, here's your question. These words are Bugs Bunny's favorite expression. What are the words? What's up, Doc? That's right, Bob Clampett's Bugs creator <laughs> bar the saying from the line, What's up, Duke, said by Carol Lombard to William Powell in the 1936 movie, My Man Godfrey. So the second street's yours. Gloria, back to the game board categories run. Here they go. <laughs> Gloria, not only are you one street away from Easy Street, but you could be one street away from heading to Puerto Vallarta. We find Louisiana detour in sports again. Look them over. Tell me what you want to go with. Louisiana. Once again, if you answer this question correctly, you not only head to Easy Street, but you and your guest are going to Puerto Vallarta <laughs> by American Airlines and Travel Mart. Here's the question. You've heard of salt water found in the oceans of the world and fresh water obviously containing no salt. Here in Louisiana, there's another type of water that is found in the marshes and the rivers and some lakes. Now, for the big win today in the trip to Puerto Vallarta, name the type of water that we're looking for. Arcation. Incorrect, brackish. Brackish water. Back to Vicky. categories are running. There they go, a close one. <laughs> Movies, the events, the mixed bag. Vicki, what do you think? I'm gonna try events. Here's events, here's mm -hmm. the question, listen to this. The year's 1974. On January 2nd, a bill becomes law concerning the speed limit. What mile per hour speed did the bill stipulate? 55. That's right, and you <laughs> should know that. <laughs> Working with the transportation department. Hey, Vic, you're only two streets behind Gloria. Gloria, when we come back, we're heading you back to the game bar. Will she make it to Puerto Vallarta and Easy Street? Five games she has to win. She's 1-4. We'll find out. This is We Play Baton Rouge. Back with more of the final moments. But here's Steve Earle. If you'd like to be a contestant on We Play Baton Rouge, we'd love to have you. Just give us a call at 925-8295. More in just a moment. Vic, you did it on the 55 mile per hour. Now, you had to know that one, working with the transportation department, right? Vic, I didn't ask you, are you married? Yes. Okay, what's your husband do? He's a policeman with the highway department also. Okay, everybody get their <laughs> hands up, you're under arrest. Back to the game board, Gloria, let's see what happens. Categories are spinning for you. Vic, captain to the last street, here we go. 
Sports is there, shortcut, you don't need that. TV is there, look them over. Tell me what you're gonna do, Gloria. Sports. Sports it is, this question, once again, answer it correctly. You not only head to Easy Street, capture all the prizes again today, but you could be going to Puerto Vallarta, here's the question. The Wizard of Westwood is the nickname given to a well-known UCLA basketball coach. Name this coach. John. Oh. Quickly. Yes. John. Time's up. John Wooden. John Wooden, close one. Back over to Vic. Categories are running for you, and here they go. The Wizard of Westwood. UCLA basketball coach John Wooden. Places, comics, words. Vicki, what do you think? Comics. Here we go, comics. This question out of the slot, 4th Street. Name the comic strip, which features the characters Little Tater, Ma, and Old Bullet the Dog. How about a guesstimate? Blondie? Nah, Snuffy Smith. Okay. Snuffy Smith also features one other character, Steve Earle. Back to the game board categories run for you, Gloria. Here they go. <laughs> Things and music is people is right there. Gloria, look them over. Tell me what you like. People. Here we go again. Need, should I uh, say it? Why not answer this correctly? Head into Easy Street, pick the prizes up, go to Puerto Vallarta. Here's the question. This famous 19th century poet wrote the works Requiem and Romance, but also wrote Treasure Island. Name the famous person, and we'll put you over into Easy Street as the winner today. Would you read that again? Yes. Under People, this famous 19th century poet wrote the works Requiem and Romance, but he also wrote Treasure Island. Name this famous person. Longfellow. Robert Louis Stevenson. Cool, man. Back to you, Vic. Categories are running again. You're able to latch on one more street. Movies, the events, the mixed bag. Check them out, Vic. What do you think? Events. Events it is. Here's the events. Here's the question. In this current event, it's January 7th, 1969. This man is charged with the murder of Senator Robert Kennedy. On May 21st, he is sentenced to death. Name this criminal. Smith. <laughs> Sir Hans, Sir Hans, the name. Gloria categories are spinning again, and here we go. Louisiana detour, and also sports, check them out. Louisiana. Louisiana, here we go. A former Confederate general was Louisiana's first governor after Reconstruction. What Louisiana University was named in honor of this governor? Was it Loyola, Grambling, Tulane, or Nichols State? A correct answer, Gloria, puts you to Port of Vallarta as a winner of a fifth game, or it's back over to Vicky. Nichols State. You know what? <laughs> That's right! You're going there, and you get to take me with you. I'm going with it. Hey, you played a good game too, Vic. How about that, huh? Five games consecutively, you win them. We'll talk to you in just a second, but first, Vic, we got a nice prize package for you. Never go home a loser on We Play. Take a look at this consolation prize. Here's Steve to say. You're our second place finisher today, and first you've won personalized hair service from Lockworks, including creative hair cutting, manicure, and facial. Lockworks, with convenient locations on Jefferson Highway, South Sherwood Forest Boulevard, and the new Lockworks store in Cortana Mall. And then you'll receive a $100 gift certificate from the Capital City's premier jeweler, Jules Madair. Jules Madair has been creating fine jewelry for Baton Rouge for nearly 40 years. Jules Madair Jewelers, where you always say, aren't you glad there's Jules Madair, 9345 Airline Highway. And you've won a six-month supply of Baskin-Robbins ice cream for unbeatable flavors at Baskin-Robbins, where quality is served 31 flavors at a time. Finally, you'll visit Gold Star Awards at 6220 Florida Boulevard to pick up your official We Play Baton Rouge hat, shirt, and personalized trophy. Vic, you did good. How about a round of applause for our contestant, Vicki? And she's with the Thank Transportation you. Department. Can you come back and play with us again? We're going to have transportation night and drive morning rather than get you in here and play with us. How about that? Another round of applause for Vic. And listen, she's been a great contestant.
And also for Vernell Mora, we'll be sending you Steve Earle for an afternoon. <laughs> no, just kidding. Before we talk about Puerto Vallarta, Gloria, so far this week, Fine Arts, Not Away, Natchez, the Old Video Library, Lockworks, Asphodel, Sheridan Package, Record Bar, World's Fair with Metrex. We now have another prize package for you. Take a look. Here's Steve to tell you about it. Take it away, Steve. You're our winner today. First, you'll receive a gorgeous dozen roses from Billy Harrowman's Flowerland with locations on Harold's Ferry Road near Sharp Lane and Perkins Road near Hundred Oaks featuring guaranteed same-day delivery. And then you'll receive a complete beauty treatment from Sculptured Nails on Wintling Avenue. You'll begin with a cool, soothing body wrap that helps you get rid of those unwanted pounds. And then you get a professional hair styling from Design 2000 Hair Graphics followed by a manicure and a set of beautiful sculptured brandy nails. Remember, brandy nails are the only sculptured nails that actually help your own nails grow. And then you'll visit sunny Pensacola, Florida. You'll have the option of taking a beautiful car from Miller Terrell Buick to Pensacola. Three nights and days are yours at this scenic resort. You'll enjoy the white sandy beaches and the excellent food at the Holiday Inn Bay Beach while soaking up plenty of rays. And of course, you'll visit Gold Star Awards at 6220 Florida Boulevard to pick up your official We Play Baton Rouge hat, shirt, and personalized trophy. Congratulations. And ah, back to you, Pat. Gee whiz, you've been a good contestant. Gloria, a round of applause. You have now received not only the trip to Pensacola, but all the other merchandise. You've got, as we mentioned, a video library. You've got a cassette. You've got a Sheridan package, three nights there. The record bar. Also, Asphodel Plantation for the Champagne Brunch. You're heading to Natchez Eola for three days. You're going to have to get about four or five weeks off in order to take all these. But, hey, look, <laughs> take your time. And, of course, you have beat five consecutive contestants from Monday through Friday, and that means that you are going to go right there to Puerto Vallarta, accommodations provided by Travel Mart here in Baton Rouge. You'll take American Airlines out of Baton Rouge, connecting through and going right down there at Puerto Vallarta for six days, seven nights. How about that? Now, did you anticipate after we paid salute to the housewives this week would ever add up to all no, this? No, no. Would you like to hire somebody to take care of all those gifts for you? I'd be more than happy to put an application <laughs> in for the job. I think I've got plenty of people that will help me over there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Gloria, you've been a great contestant. How about a round of applause for both of them and all our contestants this week? Pat Shingleton saying no matter what game you're playing, play it the best you can. See you Monday right here. Bon Marche Mall. We play Baton Rouge, 9 a.m. Be there. Aloha. Baton Rouge is a Pat Shingleton production made in association with WBRZ TV2. This is your weekly announcer, Steve Earle, reminding you to join us each and every day, Monday through Friday, when... Connecting through and going right down there at Puerto Vallarta for six days, seven nights. How about that? Now, did you That's anticipate terrific. after we paid salute to the housewives this week would ever add up to all no, this? No, no, never tried. Would you like to hire somebody to take care of all those gifts for you? I'd be more than happy to put an application <laughs> in for the job. I think I've got plenty of people that will help me over there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Gloria, you've been a great contestant. How about a round of applause for both of them and all our contestants this week? Pat Shingleton saying no matter what game you're playing, play it the best you can. See you Monday, right here, Bon Marche Mall. We play Baton Rouge, 9 a.m. Be there. Aloha. Baton Rouge is a Pat Shingleton production made in association with WBRZ TV2. This is your weekly announcer, Steve Burrow, reminding you to join us each and every day, Monday through Friday, when... Please, please.